lawmakers are back at the state capitol talking about public safety. Governor Bill Lee called the special session after the Covenant School shooting back in March to work on gun reform, mental health and reducing crime. WSMV's Brendan Tierney joins us live tonight with a look at what happened today. Brendan. Tracy and Marius House Republicans tried to end this special session just a couple minutes after it started. That was voted down, but they were able to pass a number of new rules limiting how your voice will be heard here. Thousands of people descending on Capitol Hill for a special session on public safety. I hereby declare the House of Representatives of the 113th General Assembly of the State of Tennessee now in extraordinary session. Inside the House chamber, though, only a couple dozen were allowed to protest. We have a limited participation and transparency in this government. New rules passed by the House Republican majority meant there were more state troopers than members of the public lining the halls. There are also new limits on how members can talk about issues during this special session. Stick to the bill, stick to the policy. The folks that are here in the gallery and that have come down here for a special session that the governor have called have asked us to debate important issues. Let's stay on the issues. No action. These restrictions come after the Tennessee Three led a gun reform protest on the House floor after the Covenant School shooting. Two of those members were kicked out of office and have since been reelected. I think it allows for a multitude of different options if a member violates the rules, whereas now literally the only thing available is censure or expulsion. The restrictions include a ban on signs in the House gallery that today read things like kids, not guns. What is the sign going to do to you and our children? Nothing, because it's not about the sign. Can we still bring guns into Cordell Hall and in the committee rooms? Although these new rules do not improve safety within legislative offices and hearings, Covenant School families looked on, hoping change will come later this week. And tomorrow, the focus shifts to committees in the House that will decide what bills will be considered during this special session. Those House committee meetings start at 9 a.m. We're also hearing the Senate will be bringing up a resolution trying to end the special session similar to what the House tried today. Live at the Capitol, Brendan Tierney, WSMV4. Marius. That's, that's, that will catch a lot of people off guard. Brendan, thank you so much. The National Association of Gun Rights released a statement about today's session. It reads in part, election after election, Republicans claim they stand up for the Second Amendment. Yet when push comes to shove, they'd rather stand with the likes of Joe Biden, Gavin Newsom and Michael Bloomberg than the people that put them into office, end of quote. Tomorrow, Republican Senator Janice Bowling is expected to roll out a resolution to end the special session. Support